So as of about uh, probably two days ago, the 3.22 patch for Smite has dropped, and with this patch comes, of course, the usual, a host of Odyssey skins, normal skins, some mastery skins, achievements, and some balancing here and there, which isn't really the craziest of balancing, but also doesn't really define or game change anything specifically that is so far. So, hi, my name is Emily's Wake, and for this video, I kind of just want to go over a little bit of what is 3.22 patch and show you some new skins, some of the Odyssey rewards, things like that. So, as you're looking at right now, this is the new Mercury skin, Captain Quick, which uh, e either can be a flash overlook or could be something along the lines of... Um, Captain Falcon. So, either way, it looks amazing. I love the skin. And I love the voice pack. I think the voice pack even is a little neat itself for what it is. Also, the some something that's actually new to the game, alongside of how they just kind of added recall skins this year, is a HUD theme. As you see, the demonic pack HUD theme currently. It's very medievalish, and uh, I think it looks amazing, actually. I really like how they decided to do something like this, just to change up the look of something else for a change. And... I'm just kind of excited that they, they're they adding more new things, even if it's as little or minuscule as this, I'd say uh, it just makes the makes the game look different, because you're always looking at the same HUD for the past two or three years now, so it's kind of nice to have, again, a little bit of a change of some sort. So, uh, another sort of skin, or actually skins that have been added to this have been festive skins, so we got festive skins for, uh, I forgot his name, sorry, Ratatasker... Geb and Chiron, and Chiron has his little, of course, sort of uh, sleigh skin. He's a um, sleigh bells Chiron. We got festive Ratatasker with his cookie, and then Snowman Geb, which these are all skins that you get in the holiday chest. So look out for these. They are very, very nice skins. I actually do like them a lot. Mercury and Thor both got their mastery skins redone as well because they got new skins. So as always, once you get a new skin, you just have to do their masteries. That's kind of a thing. They won't do this to every person, but they do it to the majority of them. We got some more achievements. We got two achievements for Thaw. We got Fafnir's Wonderland, which is actually another big deal for the patch as well. The name of the patch, Fafnir's Wonderland, basically is the Zingtan's Mountain, but very festive. You know, it's um more Christmassy. There's two difficulties. There's there's, I was gonna say 15. <laughs> there's um, there's easy and then there's hard. And the reason I said 15 is because once you complete all 15 rounds of easy, you can do hard mode. So basically, I will just say this much: uh, easy is not that easy. It's actually pretty difficult. Uh, it's extremely fun to play though. And as you see, this is the Thor Barbarian skin, which I like a lot because it changes the VFX again. And I just, I think I don't know. It's one of the skins that I think. When they add a skin to the game, they change the VFX and they change things like that. They change the voice pack just to make the character have a different feel. I think it's welcome. It's, it's better than just having a new skin and nothing to the character done. I don't know. It's just kind of a feeling of laziness to me. It's a very weird thing. Item changes. Uh, Oboe pretty much just got a reduced in mana cost. Well, not mana cost, sorry. In uh, gold cost. It was 2400, now it's 2100. Poison Star got an increase in physical power. Bologna's cooldown for Scourge got... Is that increased? Got increased. Her bludgeon is the same. Fat... Oh, why did I say Fafnir? Okay, sorry. The patch wants to Fafnir for some reason. Fenrir got a buff. His Seething Howl ability, which is his lifesteal ability, gives him 30%. Um, lifesteal at all ranks. Izzy got buffed again. She does more damage. Things like that. For a while, basically every level she needs more damage from here and there. And also, this is the tier skin, which, uh, if you didn't know, this is Evil Dead type of thing, and I actually really, really enjoy it. Mercury got a buff as well. He is the fastest god alive now. His movement speed has been increased, and now his maximum velocity makes him immune to slows if the slow is active. Thoth got buffed as well. His cooldown reduction for his evaded punish was added, so... Basically, that was 18 seconds. Now it dropped to 12 seconds. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little overview of the patch. Not really much happened, but there were some things here and there that I thought were really, really neat. So I hope you enjoyed the video again, and take care.